Now to load change into a CPI Griffin coin changer, you first gonna to need to remove the coin cassette. To do that, we're gonna press up on this latch here. We're gonna lift up and pull forward, and out comes the entire cassette. Now the cassette is labeled at the bottom here about which coin tube is for which denomination. And at the top here, you can just load the coins directly into the top of the coin changer. I'm gonna turn it around here to make it easier for you to see. And we're gonna grab a coin, and we're just gonna drop it into one of our tubes. And here, simply, you're just gonna drop the coins into each tube. Now, you could just take a whole stack of coins and pour them right into the tube, but make sure you remove the paper or plastic that those coins are rolled in. And once that's done, you're simply gonna turn the cassette around, you're gonna slide it into the chassis, and then you're gonna make sure you slide it down to lock it into place. Now I'm gonna show you how to remove a CPI Griffin coin changer. Now again, this is a high-end coin changer. Now to remove these units, they made some improvements uh, on these units. It makes them a little bit easier to move. You don't have to take the whole thing apart. This is very much like the uh, MEI 7512 units. But to uh, remove this, we only need this little yellow latch right here. So first thing we do is I turn the power off the machine already. I'm going to disconnect the power cord. Top left-hand side of all coin changers is where you're gonna find the power cord. Follow that away from the coin changer until you find its connection point, which is right here. And I'm just going to disconnect this. So this is the male side MDB plug to the coin changer, and this is the female side portion to the dollar bill acceptor of the MDB plug. Now with that detached, set that aside, and I'm going to go ahead and pop out the acceptor. You don't have to take the acceptor all the way out. You can actually pop it out, but to <clears throat> fold it down in order to get to these screws, if you need to loosen them, you're going to press down on the little yellow tab underneath the escrow lever here, so underneath. Press that, and I'm gonna push forward. Now this whole unit here folds down. Now I do have a ribbon cable located right here. So I'm going to detach that ribbon cable from the acceptor. Now once that ribbon cable is attached, I'm going to then swing this around. Now again, I've got this entire groove assembly I gotta follow to get the acceptor out. So I have this piece right here that we gotta follow. So if I go up and then pull forward, I can take out the acceptor. Now once the acceptor's out, I now got access to the three screws that I can use to loosen to get those out. I've already loosened these screws. Now once they're loosened, you don't need to remove them, just loosen them. I'm then going to lift up, and out comes the entire chassis. Again, back of the coin changer, you can see the one, two, three mounting points that marry up to the one, two, three screw points on the machine. Put it back in, everything just done in reverse. Put this around, line up the coin changer to the screws. Lock them in place. I'm gonna grab that acceptor. I'm gonna put that acceptor back in place here. So I'm gonna find the groove points here, following the grooves. That can fold down. Now I'm going to plug the ex ribbon cable back into the acceptor. Now this is the key so you can't plug it in backwards. Got that in place. And once that in place, I'm gonna take my MDB power cable, move that over to the side. Now this particular one has got a special extra uh, cable here that's meant to be used for uh, CPI's own credit cards. So go ahead and get that tucked out of the way. With that folded in, lock that in place like that. Now that coin changer is now mounted. Now I find the power cable to the coin changer. So here's the male side. I will find the female side, the MDB plug going to the dollar bill acceptor. Turn around, connect these two units and this one's good to go. Here I would just go ahead and tuck the wires away, turn the power on, and this one is good to go. So that's how you can re you remove and attach a CPI Griffin coin changer.